Welcome to Fan City Central. I'm here with my friend Istiana. Hi. Guys, she doesn't watch TV shows. Like at all. <laughs> <laughs> like you've seen like five TV shows. I can count on my fingers how many shows I've seen in my life. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna play a fun game with her. Basically, I'm gonna show her trailers from TV shows and she's gonna try to guess what sh the show is about. And okay. then I want you to try to name one main character also because I think that would be hilarious. Okay, like <laughs> based on the trailer or yes. guessing like what a name would be. Yes, just okay. guessing a name of someone that grabs your attention in the trailer. Okay. Yes. Okay, challenge accepted. So the first show we're gonna do is The 100. You know nothing about the show, I know right? Nothing about it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> it's been 97 years since a nuclear apocalypse killed everyone on Earth. From the producers of Gossip Girl, I have uh, seen that. Unfortunately, there were one of your five shows. We're told the Earth needs another hundred years to become survivable. This looks like the Avengers. Prisoner 319. Stay put if you want to live. We're going to space. They're going from space to the ground. To the Earth. Oh, yes. 100 aliens as prisoners are going to Earth. Yes. But they see things differently than humans. <laughs> this is not Earth, though. What are all these things in Earth? This is Earth. Okay. But this is their version of Earth. Because they see things differently than humans. <laughs> okay, so what do you think this show is about? Just a brief prop plot summary. Okay, so these are prisoners sent from another planet to Earth. So my guess is that this show is about them surviving Earth. Okay. And maybe trying to find their way back home because they've been exiled to Earth. And Earth is hard for them to live in because they're not built for Earth. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Also, can you name one of the one of the characters for me? Like maybe the blonde girl, the main girl. Oh, I don't think they said her name. They definitely she didn't. She looks like a Sabrina. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So it's not bad. So basically, um, Earth went through a nuclear war. Mm -hmm. So we had to move to space as humans. So we've been living in space, and these are a hundred oh. humans that were born in space that are going back to the Earth because they, they think the Earth is possibly survivable now. Oh, so that's they, a really cool concept. They send a hundred kids down to Earth to see if it's survivable because these kids are all criminals or prisoners, right. and. Chaos ensues, but also her name is Clark. Clark, so not, not really close, but yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. okay, that's not bad. Okay, so this next one is The Society, which is a Netflix show. I haven't heard of it. Okay, it's it's pretty new, so that's fair. It's okay. like three months old now, I think. Six months ago, we were children. This is who we are now. There's nothing out there, guys. This was like the last show. Alive. And now he's alive. Yeah, it's a dystopia also. We just want to be with you at home. These people are left behind somewhere. It's good. Good and Everything that kept us safe is gone. There's no civilization here, not until we start one. They're starting a sorority. A sorority? <laughs> So what do you think this show is about? I have no idea what's going on, but I think that's fair. I think that it's about. Well, it looks like the football players are a cult. Okay. And they are going around trying to be all scary and shit, and okay. then they're attacking people. Okay. And the girls, the sorority girls, <laughs> are trying to uh, save themselves from the cult boys. That it looks like it's all on, on a campus. You were close. So it's basically a show about a group of teenagers in this small town, and they go on a trip for, I don't know, senior year or something. They fall asleep on the bus, and when they come back, they're back in the town because this major storm happened. They're like, oh, we had to bring you home. They get home, and no one in the town is there anymore. Just them. So just between the ages of like 16 and 18, everyone else is gone. 
um, including my parents. And so they have to start their own society, not sorority, but close. <laughs> um, but you are right, the girls are much smarter than the boys. So Most of them. So Some of the boys are about how they want like, to make their new society. Yeah, it's actually based on Lord of the Flies. Which I didn't, I didn't know, but it is. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so could you name one of the main characters in the show? <laughs> I, keep, I keep forgetting to listen for a name, but... Um, I don't think they ever said a name in the show. There's probably a Dan in there. There's not, but you had like a <laughs> 1 in 30 shot, so... Every small town has a story. Oh, Roswell. Okay, this is about UFOs. Oh, okay. Vampire Diaries! Yes. Oh, what did you do? 20 years of keeping this secret, and now you up and resurrect someone? I have been worried that someone would find out. The show is so good. But I keep this secret because you, me, and Michael swore that we would. You don't decide to be a hero. You ask me what I am? I'm just a guy from Roswell. Okay. Okay, so the main character, the guy. Oh, Hey. Roswell is a town in New Mexico. Yes. And <laughs> he's um he's got alien blood inside him. Or he's not from Earth or something. I can't remember and the girl suddenly when she dies and comes back mm -hmm. to life, she gets this same power inside her somehow. And then he teaches her the ways of how to be this new being on Earth. I like your plot. I like <laughs> your plot. You're close, also. This is a show about three aliens. Mm-hmm. Isabel, Michael, and Max, and they've been living in this town of Roswell, New Mexico, and then Liz comes back to town, who is the girl he resurrects, mm -hmm. and she gets shot, so he resurrects her, and then the aliens try to keep their secret in the small town that's obsessed oh, with aliens. Like Vampire Diaries, when they were trying to hide that they were vampires. Similar, similar, and it's based on the original show called Roswell. This is called Roswell, New Mexico. That was good. That was pretty close. It's getting easier. <laughs> it's getting easier. <laughs> On October 3rd, Timeless. We need your help. The show that should be top of your list finally arrives. There's room in there for three passengers. To do what? Don't tell me you're not curious. And the critics are simply thrilled. He's trying to destroy America. We will come back to an entirely different world. A film kills people who aren't supposed to die. History changes. October 3rd after the voice. Woo, that one looks really cool. Doesn't yeah, it? Really it should cool. not have been canceled, people. Oh, it was canceled? It was. Oh, so no. Dumb. Anyways. Okay, well, it looks like a really cool concept. I feel like, okay, I'm not sure if people of now or the future are going back in time or if the people before are going into the future. But what, there's some time crossing. Yep. yep. And they're afraid that they won't be able to get back to their original world and they don't know what they're going into. Mm -hmm. And. You got half right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So basically, Flynn, um, who saw as the bad guy in that trailer, um, has stolen a time machine that this super rich guy made because he could. And so he steals it and he wants to change history. So he goes back in the past and then this team of three people, which includes Wyatt Logan, who's from 90210, if you watch that check. Um, no, you haven't. <laughs> it includes this beautiful guy and a historian and this adorable nerd who is their pilot and they go back in time to stop this like time uh, guy from changing history basically okay and yeah. that would change the world the worst yes could be evil yes so then when he changes things sometimes they come back and stuff is different and Ooh, yeah it's very interesting why'd they cancel it you know I'm what fascinated. that's a good question <laughs> it had two seasons and then um, there was such an outpour for it that it got a movie, a two hour movie to wrap it up and finish it because the second season ended on a cliffhanger. So oh. it actually ended well. So if you do end up watching it, you will not be devastated. It ends well. It does not end on a cliffhanger. Um, but yeah, it's really okay. good. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. So Alex <laughs> and I were going to watch the show together, but then he ended up watching the whole season without me. That's why I haven't seen the show, but my boyfriend has. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my God, that's funny. I like Alex now. He watches more than you do. <laughs> I know we're gonna make it. Yeah. 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 I know the show's very pleasant. Yes. It's a very easy concept show. It's 7:10. I set the clock for a quarter to six. 
so it's 710. Oh, oh my god, look at the back. Oh, I believe it's those adorable Gilmore girls. That's the wine, Lorelai. You want a straw with that? So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. I know parts of it because I overhear Alex watching it again as I'm cooking. But um, this is about Rory. That's a character name. Yes, you got one. Rory Gilmore and her yep. mother. Yep. Mrs. Gilmore. And extra Mrs. Gilmore, the grandma. Yes. Who, She's Mrs. Gilmore. <laughs> if you call Lorelai that, she would not. The um, family drama between the grandma, what the grandma wants, and what the mom wants, and what the kid wants, or yep. Rory. So it's just like yep. all their daily life. Like very typical. Yeah, it's a family drama show. That's that's what I'm yeah. guessing it's about. And they live in a really cute small town called Stars Hollow. Which Hollow? Stars Hollow. Stars Hollow. Yeah. Sounds very pleasant. Yes, it's very very cute, and it's basically about their lives. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay, last one. Charmed. Okay, I know nothing about this one. This is also a remake based on a show called the Charmed. The world knows you're the charmed ones. We have to figure out who we can trust. This is about witches. Mom, are you there? Charmed, new series next Sunday. Based on that, um, this is about a mom and a daughter who are witches, and the daughter just finds out she's a witch, and she has to figure out how to control her powers and to save the world from dark forces. I'm going to give you a B minus on that because <laughs> that's entirely true except it's three sisters that oh, find out that mom. they're witches. Okay. okay. So their mom actually dies which is why they're talking to her in the Ouija board in the trailer. Oh. And yes the three bitch with three sisters find out that they're witches and then they have to save the world and embrace their powers and everything. Gotcha. Okay. I love how when they find out in TV shows that they have superpowers they're like oh my god I don't want to do this. Yeah. If I found out I had superpowers I would be super psyched. Yeah, I would too. Be like, yes, like, give me all the powers. Like, <laughs> yeah. Tell me exactly how to use them. Well, thank you so much. For Thanks for having, having me. So much fun. Um, let me know what you guys think of this below, what your favorite show is that you're currently watching, because she could use all the recommendations. Yeah, I would love to know your top recommendation of, of the shows that we just previewed. <laughs> yes, that's a good one. Um, I don't even know if I could pick one, honestly. They're all so good. Yeah, what's your favorite? <laughs> If you had to watch one right now, what, what are you going to pick? What are you going to throw on? Okay, off the bat, I'm really loving The Society because I just binged that and it has one of the cutest gay couples I've ever seen in my life in it. Um, but for one, in the background, if you're like cooking and stuff, go more girls. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. But you guys let us know what you think below and I will see you next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>